The Lion King, Simba's beginning journey, once upon a time, in the vast and beautiful Pride Lands, a little lion named Simba was born. Simba had a golden coat that shined like the sun, and his eyes sparkled with curiosity. He lived with his father, Mufasa, the mighty king of the Pride Lands, and his mother, Sarabi, who was always there to keep him safe. Simba loved his family dearly, but there was one thing he loved even more, exploring, one bright, sunny morning, Simba was feeling especially adventurous. He woke up early and bounded out of bed. Today is the day. He whispered to himself. He couldn't wait to go on his first big journey alone. He wanted to explore every corner of the Pride Lands. Just like his dad did, Simba. Where are you going? Called his mother, Sarabi, from the shade of the big baobab tree, I'm going to explore, mom. Simba said excitedly, his little tail flicking back and forth. I'll be back soon, I promise. Mufasa overheard and walked over with a smile. Remember, Simba, the Pride Lands are big, and the world outside our home can be tricky. Stay close and always listen to your instincts. There's much to learn. Simba nodded eagerly. Don't worry, Dad. I'm ready for anything. With his parents' advice in his heart, Simba began his journey. The grass beneath his paws tickled as he trotted through the fields. He saw his friend, Zazu the Hornbill, flying overhead. Hey, Zazu. Simba called, waving his paw, Simba. Where are you off to today? Zazu asked, fluttering down to land beside him, I'm going to explore. I'm going to see the whole pride lands. Simba declared proudly, Zazu chuckled. Just remember, Simba, there's more to the Pride Lands than meets the eye. You'll learn a lot on your journey, but always stay safe. Simba promised he would, and off he went. He crossed the tall grass, ran through the sparkling river, and reached a big, shady tree. Beneath it, he met his best friend, Nala, who was already playing. Hi, Simba. Where are you going? Nala asked, her eyes wide with curiosity. I'm going to find the elephant graveyard. Simba said, puffing out his chest. It's where the biggest elephants go when they pass away. I want to see it. Nala gasped. Simba, that place is dangerous. We're not supposed to go there. But Simba was determined. He wanted to prove he could be brave, just like his father. I'll be fine, he said, and before Nala could stop him, Simba was already heading toward the mysterious place. As Simba walked deeper into the jungle, he started to feel nervous. The trees grew thicker, and the path became harder to see. He couldn't hear the cheerful sounds of the pride lands anymore. Instead, there was only silence, suddenly, Simba realized he had gone too far. Maybe I should have listened to Nala, Simba thought. But just as he turned around to go back, he heard a loud roar. Simba froze in fear. He wasn't alone, it was Scar, Mufasa's brother, with a wicked smile on his face. Simba quickly ran back home, his heart pounding. When he reached the safety of Pride Rock, Simba promised to listen more carefully next time. He was still young, but he was learning, Simba, Mufasa said gently, pulling him close, every journey teaches us something. Today, you learned about listening to others and trusting your instincts. And that's how we grow stronger. Simba smiled and curled up beside his dad. Ready for his next adventure. He knew the journey had just begun. And next time, he would be a little wiser, a little braver and ready for whatever came his way.